Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your Love Tarot reading for October 2022. This is a Halloween theme love reading that explores potential for tricks, treats, and bewitching bumps in the night for Scorpio in October. Feel free to take with you whatever messages resonate and leave behind for others, whatever does not. In this first column, we uncover tricks of the heart that Scorpio might not see coming. You have blue moon, second chance, magic. You have the hermit, the hierophant, and page of cups. In this second column, we look at the love treats in October's goodie bag for Scorpio. You have winter, the sacredness of pausing, temperance, ten of pentacles, death. And in this third column, we look at the potential for Scorpio to experience magically delicious love bumps in the night. You have meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Two of Wands, the Devil, and Nine of Wands. So you have a decent amount of majority of um, major arcana cards popping up for you. So perhaps uh, exploring some life lessons when it comes to believing in magic, what is it that you want to manifest? And also um, figuring out the directions you want to go. So Scorpio, this blue moon second chances magic with respect to tricks of the heart. Um, it may have to do with how you how you as a water sign, are looking at your, I guess, your goals, um, your challenges, and how to get through whatever it is that's right in front of you, um, tapping into your intuition. But this Page of Cups, uh, a sense of believing in magic, believing in that anything is possible, and that... Um, here with the Hermit and the Hierophant, these are kind of experts, people who have um, have a sense of wisdom, know the, the way forward, the known and the unknown ways forward. Um, so it may be that you are going to have an opportunity to talk to someone who is more experienced uh, in life, maybe just older in general, um, and kind of ask them questions, be curious, and kind of figure out, you know, what is it, what is it that they dreamed of? What is it that they um, kind of didn't think was possible and they have been able to accomplish when it comes to love, when it comes to anything in life. So let's take a look at the Page of Cups here. You have the Ten of Cups. So here there is definitely um, a focus. You're, maybe it's not um, something that you contemplate or are always thinking about, but in terms of your your intuition, the pull that is drawing you is a sense of love, sense of family, um, community, being supported by those you care about and really um, having support in general for the good times and for the bad times. So let's take a look at these, uh, the Hermit and the Hierophant here in terms of why why that's important in, 
for, you know, second chances and magic in your life, in your love life. You have the three of pentacles. So, yeah, it does kind of s seem that um, because this is something that uh, you might not see coming, it may be that this assistance, this insight, even being at the right place at the right time may put you on that, that path of finding that long-term love. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. So here there is a huge opportunity for a change. Um, whatever second chance you're looking at, blue moons are like the second full moon of the month. And so, you know, this concept of imagination, intuition, magic, huge shifts in life and, um, you know, things that you find at the end of the rainbow. Um, it seems to be that the, the key to that is talking to, to people who have had experience in this area or just in life in general, the ups and down and what pulls them forward and what keeps them kind of going. Um, perhaps you can all share a secret that others don't know about and will lead you on the path to love, to second chances in love. So Scorpio here, in terms of love treats and October's goodie bag, winter, the sacredness of pausing. Um, it's a sense of taking time to just chill, to contemplate, to meditate, which that says meditate and contemplation. You've got the death card here. This death person skeleton is chilling, contemplating, um, seeing what, you know, is for their best and highest good to leave behind, accepting it, dealing with it. With temperance, there is a sense of patience and focus and intention of getting those, those liquids to mix together and to create a new future. And here you have another 10. It's the 10 of pentacles. This is a future where... There is a sense of family, community, emotional stability, material stability, um, and it may be that you need to kind of contemplate and kind of marinate in things a bit. Perhaps whatever information you got from these, these uh, more experienced uh, experts, you know, maybe there's, there's someone that you'll see at like a, uh, I don't know, like a birthday event, um, uh, celebrating your birthday, celebrating some, somebody's birthday, some holiday, well, celebrating Halloween, maybe, maybe not. Let's take a look at temperance here. You have the Knight of Cups, so perhaps taking some some time to slow down and really kind of get a sense of balance about yourself will help you to um, recalibrate your love connections and the, the directions that it's pulling you. Um, let's take a look. I want to take a look at the death card here. You have the lovers. So perhaps there is an old relationship that you're, you really need to kind of get over. Um, and perhaps these more experienced people can help you to see how you can really cherish it, but also move on from it. Um, but this transformation, this death process with the lovers, it's not necessarily a easy thing, which is probably why you need some, some time for yourself. 
With the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Empress. Uh, a sense of love, community, being connected to everything around, um, sense of abundance. So here, it, it does kind of seem that you have the ability to tap into a community that'll support you, that will remind you uh, about the important things in life and um, where love connections kind of fit in and will help you to, again, like get a sense of, of balance, healing, um, and recalibrate your, your thoughts about love. In terms of potential for love bumps in October, uh, meditate and contemplate, perhaps. But you have this devil card here, and that's a sense of um, repeating patterns, um, being seduced by temptations, things that are not for your best and highest good. You have the two of wands and you have the nine of wands. So perhaps there's a certain pattern that uh, you are drained of energy, you put a lot into something, um, you really kind of want a different type of approach when it comes to love, but maybe this repeat of uh, patterns get like attracts you to similar types of relationships. So if you're, for example, someone who's always doing the work in the relationship, thinking about, um, you know, how to spend time together, making sure that you're shifting around your um, responsibilities, things that you have to do for uh, work, for school, you know, family gatherings, friends gatherings to be with someone um, and you just happen, you know, maybe you're with someone who's just constantly busy. So you adjust your schedule all the time for them and you just happen to be attracted to people who are always constantly busy and you're always having to do all the, the juggling around. Um, that's just an example of that. But here, um, if you're not having magically delicious love bumps in October, take some time to meditate, think about things, tap into your um, intuition, your imagination uh, to kind of question certain cycles where it's like you're interested in moving in a different direction, but you just keep standing your guard. You know, for some of you, for some of you, Scorpio, Perhaps this also has to do with, um, you know, possibly ending a relationship yourself. So here with the devil, you have the king of swords. Um, really, the, the approach to this is um, being able to have a clear mind about it um, and not be sucked in by emotions um and yeah just using analysis logic reason to be like whatever this pattern is wherever there's this um either repeated pattern or a sense of being tempted by instant gratification instant relief and sticking with the devil you know versus the devil you don't that's kind of one of those as well and kind of looking at it super objective way to say what is it that you, you know you get out of it what is it that you probably don't get out of it and you know what's the worst that could happen if you decide to change that pattern let's take a look at the two of wands you have the five of wands so con conflicting desires conflicting goals and in terms of the nine of wands You've got the Six of Cups. So, you know, perhaps something that you're comfortable with, um, something where there's a sense of, like, things used to be good, and if you stick to it, they could be good again. Or if this is a pattern of the type of people that you're with, kind of like, oh, you know, 
I was happy doing all the work at that one point in time, but um, here it seems like uh, more thinking about whether or not that's going to be your future or more like you're picking and choosing aspects of the past to kind of um, reflect upon. So Scorpio, I am going to pull an Oracle card to get a message from your future self about any spine tingling love connections that may be in your future. So here there's this little tiny itty bitty receipt and it says here, you will always pay for it in the end. So whatever you're trying to get a um, major discount on, uh, 10 for the price of one, whatever this devil pattern is, uh, it's kind of a sense of recognizing that whatever you're doing for your um, short-term uh, relief, satisfaction, gratification, um, that isn't for your best and highest good, that's something you will pay for in the end. But these are just cards that show a certain perspective and you get to choose how you want to live your life. So I'm hoping this gives you helpful perspective, at least for 11 October, and we'll see you next time. Take care.